Good morning and welcome back to the Rising Superstream, where it's kind of sunny outside, so forgive the darkness on my camera. I hate this setup for that reason. I wish I had a proper blind, but I don't. Today we're playing Pokemon Shield because I love Rapidash. Rapidash is truly one of my favorites, and I would be remiss to not be going for the British Rapidash. I, for I actually forget what the region name is, so hey, off to a good start. Um, I guess I'll just, let's just hop right in. I haven't touched this game yet. It just came out like five minutes ago or something. Um, it's gonna be a good time. I've been, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. I'm glad some people have been watching my deep cut videos. Like, <laughs> I'm glad that message got through one way or another. <laughs> uh, I know it's not a popular opinion, but I have not had a single issue with less Pokemon being in this game, so. Oh, let me plug my headphones in. That would be a good idea. There we go. Now I can, now I can hear the game. <laughs> I hear there's audio in this one. We getting in. We doing it. Yeah, so this game gets Ponyta and Rapidash, right? The other sword gets Sparkletched, right, I think? I mean, I know there's a lot more exclusives than that, but I like this opening already. Just get right into it. Yeah, I guess there is no voice acting, huh? Yeah, Galar region, that's it. I knew that. I knew that name. I love the design of the Galar region, how they always show it as like this really vertical map. It's so different from all the other Pokemon games where it's like, you know, spread. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's like strong merits to both of those things. Arguably stronger merits to having a spread out map, but I like how different this map is. I'm afraid I don't know what this elephant Pokemon is called. I'll find out eventually. For now, I don't need to know. The Swedish X says, I'm not too big on buying this game, but both directions are so cool now. I agree. I don't love a lot of the new Pokemon designs, but otherwise, I really like the art direction, I agree. This guy's design is so fun. Like, it's a little over-designed. It's a bit much, but like, it's fun. Oh, he's got this pose that everyone does? That's cute. This could use a little bit of voice acting. Rulu or we riot? I'm afraid I don't think I can start with the Rulu. I'm sure we'll encounter one early on. Like, I'd be surprised if we didn't, right? Oh, cool. Right into the title card. I like that. I wouldn't mind if the title card came 40 hours in after a twist. There it is! Right there. One swift drop kick right out of our house and we've got a Wulu. playing on your Switch or are you playing on your iPad? Or your Rotom Dex. Do you have a Rotom Dex already? No, we just have a flash new phone. Is that what it's called? The Charizard pose? Oh, I wonder if your hair choice determines your mother's hair choice. If that is your mother. I assume it's your mother from the, the flowery boots. Her boots are super cute though, I love it. Oh, is it spelled mum in this game? That's good, it should be mum. Americans always saying, how, how do they say it? Mom? Mom? It's so weird, just say mum. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't make fun of how Americans speak. I practically speak that way. <laughs> uh... <laughs> no, it's true. They say, hey, Ma, you're right. Hey, Ma, there's a Wooloo outside. It looks like Grandma. <laughs> so, I heard this switch. Um, I saw on Twitter that this switch that's docked here, um, the Joy-Cons respond to whatever color Joy-Cons you have in. Um, I actually have no Joy-Cons in, so I guess no Joy-Cons gives you gray. Uh, <laughs> also, shoutouts to them saying, Telly, how much British slang are we gonna get? A lot, I guess. Also, Telly again, it wasn't a typo. That was purposeful. It's super comfy and puts you to sleep instantly. Boy, I wish. Your mum's old bag. Love it. God, the... Pokemon trainer in this one has such a fun design. She's so cute. So good. Adventure guide. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. That, that makes... Yeah, that makes sense. You can save your progress by selecting save from the X menu. You can also check your location and next location to town map. You can this adventure guide anytime you want in the key item section of your bag. When I was a kid and I got the town map for the first time, I was like, oh, cool, a map of Pallet Town. Great. And, like, thinking back on it, I'm like, why the fuck did I think that was cool? Like, besides the fact that I was wrong, why would I want a map of Pallet Town? <laughs> anyway, I kind of thought there would be a town map for every town or something. Because when I hear town map, I don't think it's a map that shows where the towns are. I think it's a map of the town. Um, <laughs> like, a, like a city map would be not a map of cities. It would be a map of the city you're in. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but... That always sounded wrong to me. So when we hit the time skip in this game, that bag's gonna fit us perfectly. Right now it's a bit big, but eventually we will grow to fit it. I hear spinning's back also in this game. Yeah. Cool. Oh, and when you stop, you do, I guess that's the Charizard pose, right? That's cool. I always liked when they added that to, uh, to, to Sun Moon. That was charming. Good load screens showing you the map. I wonder if that's exactly what the town map looks like, or if the town map's a bit more data-driven. Still, I like useful loading screens. Okay, where's the drop kick button so I can get a, a Wooloo quickly? Oh, cute. I made a bumping in. They still have the you bumped into a wall sound when you bump into like a hard object. That's great. Okay, let's do a safety save, just in case the Wooloo fights back. Yeah, this first area is gorgeous, I totally agree. Uh, oh yeah, options, let's see. Tech speed fast. Battle style switch, I'm not, I'm not that kind of pervert. Um, send the boxes. Mm, yeah, manual. Give nicknames. Uh, I don't really use nicknames, but I always like having the option. Gyroscope. Okay, the Pokemon camp. Auto save on, casual controls off. Oh, I guess that's sort of like if you want to play it like Pokemon Let's Go. That, I mean, that's cool, I guess, if you liked that play style. Personally, I'm using a pro controller. Uh, I much prefer this. I actually picked up Let's Go again recently, and I forgot that the only option was, like, one Joy-Con, and I was like, ah. Eh. Ah. Eh. And, I mean, after 20 minutes, I was like, this is fine, but for a second, I was like, ugh. Uh, show nicknames, yeah, skip movies. No, that's cool that they have an option for it, though. The speedrun setting. Town map, I want to see this real quick, too. Oh, yeah, okay, because so, it's the exact same map, but with a bit more data. Uh, again, I love the vertical layout of this map. It's so cool. Is there a drink scotch button? Yeah, that's map to Y. Just chug. Uh, I'm seeing some chatter about EXP share in the, uh, in the chat. Someone's saying that they feel that EXP share does mellow out near the end and bosses do catch up or even surpass in levels. I really hope that's the case, because the EXP share not turn offable is also something that I'm kind of like, eh, I'm not totally sure about that design-wise. Like, it certainly removes some tedium for a lot of players. Um, I wouldn't blame anyone who said that they didn't find it particularly fun to, like, just go around leveling up 
like Pokemon who need to catch up. Uh, so yeah, it does remove tedium, but it also kind of removes that that choice of like you know whether you want them to level up or not. So I'm I'm, I'm kind of of two minds about it. I don't I don't hate it. I don't hate it honestly, but it's uh, it's an interesting change that's for sure. Oh okay, so something I'd like as a how do I how do I add a marker thing to this game? Add general widgets whiteboard. There we go. So. As someone who who does some game development de development myself, if you zoom in real close over here, you'll see this character pop in. This is in fact not a lazy thing that Game Freak did. This is how video games work. This is how you make games, guys. This game's badly optimized. No, this right here, this is good optimization. <laughs> this shows that they found problems, and these are their fixes. This is good! I hate... I hate this. How do I delete this shit? Do I hit escape? What do I do? Uh... Press escape to clear whiteboard. Nope. That's not... Oh, there we go. I had to hit it a few times, but it worked now. Zoom. I don't know. How do I... How do I zoom? Yeah, how do I zoom? I should know how to do that. Whatever. We'll have to zoom and enhance later. <laughs> Uh, it's really not not as bad as some people are making it out to be. Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> that, and I mean that's the thing. That's the thing that's a shame because people aren't wrong to have things they don't like in this game, like XP share being forced to be on, or like sure half the Pokemon aren't there. Like I don't mind that, but if if you don't like that, that's fair. That's a fair complaint, and it's a shame that people are, like, killing their fair complaints by balling them in with these psychotic, minute complaints that are, like, that are, n like, nothing. That's just how games work. And I'm, I'm sorry to, to use such harsh words, but, like, really, it's, it's nuts. You know, don't, don't water down your good arguments with bad arguments, because then it just makes you look like you're arguing in bad faith. Yeah, I saw that save corruption thing, but that's actually not related to Pokemon. That's actually uh, a thing that just happens on the Switch if your memory card is formatted to XFAT format. Um, just this problem crops up every time a big Nintendo game comes out because two million people buy it in a day and then people see the problem and everyone goes, oh no, the game's causing save corruption, but it's actually your memory card's XFAT change it from XFAT format to like FAT32 or literally anything else, just not XFAT, so yeah, do, do, if you have a Switch, even if you don't have Pokemon, I highly recommend making sure your memory card is not in the EXFAT format, it's, it's gonna cause you problems, this guy's got a Switch, it's one of the TVs, he doesn't have a telly, his is imported. Pokemon probably can use it too, yeah. I'm imagining a little Tyrogue, like, trying to lift these weights. Oh, I love Tyrogue. Tyrogue's such a fun Pokemon. I wish, like, the Hitmonlees and the Hitmonchans could have more central positions in the game. Yeah, okay, great. I thought I saw him run upstairs, but I didn't see him upstairs, so... It's fine. I'll just leave. <laughs> I guess he ran outside and not upstairs. I guess I'm crazy. Maybe I'm the psycho. Yeah, so Pokemon actually run around on the world map, right? Like, uh, let's go Eevee and Pikachu. That's cool. I like that. If you look here, right over here, you see anisotropic filtering take in on the shadows. Because guess what? That's what optimization looks like. You can barely notice it unless you zoom in like you're crazy. But that's how that's how shadows work in video games. Uh no, I can take them. I can use my drop kick button. Can I just say though that like 
this scene is incredibly well put together. Like, it's visually, it's very pleasing to me. I love this little town. Wedgehurst, what a cute name too. Shadows work in real life. If you white out the game, you white out in real life. <laughs> yeah, no. If you look closely in real life, shadows work the same way. Was that a thing in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire? Lots of loading to get to new zones? I actually, I didn't play Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I played, uh, the last Pokemon games I played were Let's Go Pikachu and uh, Sun before that. So, there was a gap there for me. Yeah, I hear the fashion game's amazing in this, Rogue Knight. Like, I hear there's so many costume pieces. It's like, hell yeah, I'm into that. The unbeatable Leon. Bold thing to say for someone who's in dropkick range. volume for you guys. Sound okay? Didn't make any adjustments for this stream, so... Yeah, the sponsors on his back are a really nice touch, I agree. It's good? Cool, that's good. Okay, so I think now it sounds like we're gonna get to pick a Pokemon. It sounds like... Voice is a little quiet. We can we can change that a little bit. We can turn the game volume down here. All cute picks. Oh shit! They escaped. I wish they all just ran away. We had to go catch one of them. This is actually a really cute scene. No, don't hit Barry. No, don't kill Score Bunny. No, don't scare Sobble. Oh, baby. Apocalyptic Express says, did you know many games don't even render stuff that isn't in camera? Talk about big lazy devs. I know, right? Occlusion culling is just consumer theft. I paid for those graphics, you better render them. So, I know people are gonna complain no matter what I do. So, I decided to just make three cards, one for each Pokemon. There's a blue, a red, and a green. And I'm gonna toss them into this box that I stole from Betrayal. And I'm gonna separate them, and I'm gonna shake it. And I'm gonna choose Guess who it is? It's Sobble. Guess what? They all say Sobble on the inside. Doesn't matter what color they are. Guys, seriously, there's only one choice here. It's fucking Sobble. <laughs> there was never a choice to begin with. I identify much too closely with Sobble. Small and scared. Oh no, Sobble's nickname is just Sobble. Sorry, he doesn't get a name. He's just Sobble. But how does he taste? We'll find out. Did he, I love those two little high fives he just gave me there. The little slaps.
That was a big power move, Liam. I respect it. Good. Honestly, it would be a bigger power move to go with bitch Pokemon like Grookey and Scorbunny. I chose the regular pick. Which one of you are psychos? Wait, hang on. So my buddy took the one who I have the advantage over. Okay. And I wonder if this means when I eventually get to the champ, he's gonna have whatever the fuck a Grookey turns into. I guess that's what that means. In which case, that's actually pretty cool. That actually works out. Yeah, real talk, all three of the starters are nice in this game. I actually like all three of their designs. Um, which does not happen to me every gen at all. Usually there's one that I'm like, eh, not really into that. Actually, gen one, two, three, I feel pretty good about them overall. I think it's only after that that I start getting like, eh. Yeah, let's do it. Immediately drop kick hop. I like this tiny Pokemon battle area. Let's see, for Gen 4 starters. Yeah, it's just Chimchar. Chimchar ah, no, Chimchar and Turtwig, I'm like, ah. But I like Infernape. I like Infernape a lot, and Torterra is pretty cool as well. But Chimchar specifically, I'm like, eh, don't know about you. But Infernape's fucking cool, so. Uh, we're gonna go with, uh, we're gonna go with Growl. I'm gonna show you that I know how to play Pokemon by using the non-combat move. Lower the attack by one level. It's gonna make a big difference. How you win. What you have to do is put four water moves on Sobble to assert dom dominance. Well, yeah, of course. That's what, in Pokemon, there's a mechanic called Stab, right? And, well, it's nicknamed Stab. And Stab is that if you have four attacks that are all the type of your Pokemon, you do way more damage with all your attacks. <laughs> That's exactly how that works. <laughs> I know how this game works. <laughs> yeah, no, I know how Stab works though, actually. <laughs> okay, we got Water Gun. I'm not even gonna bother growling, because like, boy. Yeah, good luck, Score Bunny. Did you already know about type advantages? I know about stab. <laughs> I like Score Bunny's little run, it's super cute. He knows about time pits. <laughs> Brown McSalty says, see the real weakness of score bunny is if you just take a water hose, you can literally murder it. I feel like you can murder most small animals and Pokemon with a water hose, but... Yeah, I also agree with you, Apocalyptic Express. I, I wish Pokemon games didn't have to come out as frequently as they do. Like, it's one thing for the remakes. I don't know, maybe I'm... Feel free to disagree with this. For the remakes, it's like, it's fine, whatever. Like, you know, put out the remakes whenever you gotta put out the remakes. Like, you know, you're building off a structure that's already there. It does help a lot. It makes it, you know, easier to get something together more quickly. But for like the new mainline games, I do wish that like they came out as often as like 
the big mainline Zeldas or Marios or whatever. But boy, they sure don't. Because, like, I think the Pokemon games are really well put together, honestly. But, you know, you can always use more time. <laughs> Before Silly says Sinnoh is long overdue. Sinnoh is the one where, like, officially for me, I start becoming an old man, and I'm like, I was not that young when Sinnoh came out. Like, I was in high school, yeah, but, like, it's not one that I would say I have nostalgia for, particularly. Even Hoenn, to a degree, I'm like, yeah, I liked Hoenn. But Sinnoh is the one where I'm like, okay, hang on. I was actually like an older teenager then. Don't know about this. Like, don't get me wrong, do it. Like, remake it, because people want it. But like, for me, it's like, that's where the nostalgia cuts off. And I'm like, okay, I guess so. Yeah, I hear Platinum's amazing. I never played Platinum, I just played Pearl. But I heard Platinum is like, dramatically improved over Diamond Pearl. Like, it adds a bunch of new areas and shit, right? Also, Giratina's cool, so. Remake Heart Gold, please. Yeah, I mean, remake Crystal. It'd be rad if they just made the next Pokemon game, Pokemon Crystal 2. And it's just a direct sequel. And Jasmine's grown up and she's super tough and she still has a Steelix. Ready to die, squaw, squaw it. Ready to die? He's actually really cute. <laughs> I've never seen this Pokemon before. Like, actually never seen it. He's got far too much food in there by far. So I don't think I have any uh, Pokemon orbs, do I? And of course, they wouldn't be in my Pokemon slot. I know how to play Pokemon. Yeah, I don't have any Poke orbs. So we're just gonna we're just gonna pound him to death. The water's not enough. Make sure we get some physical pain in there too. Yeah, monster spheres. No mystery discs. We use mystery discs to capture them. You take the mystery. You get the mystery disc. You take it to the shrine. You release that fabled mystery disc to see the mo uh, monster that's inside. I was transported to a faraway planet to a world where monsters rule. They became like an ace, now I'm in this place to save the monsters from the evil move. Monsters rule, monsters rule, monster rancher, monster rancher, monster rule, monster rule, monster rancher, monster rancher. That's how you, that's how you play Pokemon. It's that easy. There's uh, something, something, all four of your attacks are the same color. Stab. <laughs> that's, that's just how it works. Oh, I really like this little sneak animation. That's good. I feel like there should be an invisible potion right here, but I can't find it without an item finder, so. So right now, yeah, no Pokemon on the map. I wonder if this is just... Oh, are the Pokemon on the map just in the wild areas? Is that how that's... Is that how that works? Maybe that's how that works. Did you do the spinning move yet? Yeah, I did it right away, actually. Oh, just not this area? Okay. Oh, it has little notes about what moves are effective and not effective. Honestly, that's that's a decent change. I don't dislike that. I could definitely see some people being like, oh, but there's no surprise there. And it's like, yeah, you're right. But sometimes I forget that, like, poison is not good against... I don't know, what's poison not good against? I guess steel makes sense, but... Sometimes I forget poison's not good against, I don't fucking know, whatever poison's not good against. I can't be arsed to remember what poison is good against and not. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> oh, did Sun Moon have that as well? Wow, I completely forgot that. Um, I played all of three or four hours of Sun Moon, so... Forgive me for forgetting some of those improvements. I do remember that Sun Moon was, like, the reason I was so into it before launch was like, wow, it looks like such an elaborate step up. And in some ways it definitely is. Definitely not always, but... So is this as broken as people have been saying? Uh, 
So far, it's really nice, honestly. I definitely don't think it's as broken as people have been saying. Oh, he's here. He's right out of the gates. I need to fight him right out of the gates? Cool. My Pokedex is in good shape. Let's do it. We're gonna use Growl for Stab. No effect. We're gonna use Water Gun for Stab. Uh, Marvel 877 says you get this digitally, you know about the crashes that erase the SD card. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this out there again. And don't worry if you didn't know this, Marvel. It's all good. Uh, cause this happens every time a new Nintendo game comes out and like 2 million people buy it on day one. Um, but it's actually, it is not Pokemon Sword Shield that is causing problems with SD cards and formatting of SD cards. It's that you should not use an XFAT formatted card with your Switch. And this has happened when, whenever any big Nintendo game comes out, is like inevitably people refine this problem and people go, this is the, this game is causing big data loss. I remember it happened for Splatoon, it happened for Smash. So just uh, take your SD card, make sure it's not formatted to XFAT uh, and you'll be good actually. So yeah, only digital games, right? I believe that bug only happens for digital stuff, but not totally sure. Yeah, that definitely wasn't Toby's song. Oh, his song's post-game? Okay. I, if you... Is there any way someone can post a non-spoiler version of where Toby's song appears other than post-game? Because I'm, like, really keen to get to it. <laughs> post-game sure means I've got a lot to do until I see it, but... I want it. His song's so good. I saw the other day that it's, um... That song is like a, a remake of an older song that he did for a Homestuck fan thing. But it's like, you listen to the Homestuck song that he did and it is like identical. It is hitting all the same notes. This version is like a lot better. It's much higher quality, but like it's the same song, so. Yeah, it was a Homestuck ship post about MPEG. That is correct. Oh, he got banned from the Homestuck forums for it? That's too funny. <laughs> can you put the link in the chat uh, to... Is that... I mean, you can put whatever links in the chat you want, man. I trust you guys. Maybe that's a bad idea, but yeah, go right ahead. I gotta check my decks and see if uh, see if that's happening. Let me see. I think someone just sent me. Yeah, this is the Toby song. It's super good. Go listen to that Toby song. It's amazing. I mean, unless you want to hear it in the game for yourself, it's super good. If anyone does know exactly where it happens in a non-spoilery way, I'd love to. Again, I'd love to hear it. I should go talk to me, mum. Me, ma'am. Yeah, I have no decks right now, do I? Okay, let's do a safety save just in case we encounter another legendary. Shoutouts to your adult length, Zulti. That's always a good joke. Where's me, mom? There she is. Maybe Battle Tower? Battle Tower? Okay. Cool. That's a good spot for it. It's such a good tune. I remember when I heard it for the first time, I was like, man, you didn't need to tell me this was by Toby Fox. His songs are so identifiable. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, sorry. Just respond to the message real quick. Power of sight. Oh, he's around. <laughs> I'm glad this guy keeps getting around. Keep hiring this man. I think you can access mystery gift now. Oh, should I access? Oh, it's right there. Okay, cool. Why not? Let's go for it. Hit me up. Get via internet. Yes. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Get your meow. Can I get a meow? Are there any codes for mystery gift right now as well that I should know? Gigantamax meow. Oh, cool, cool. I actually really like the giant Gigantamax meow um, form. It's really cool. I think. I, I really wish it would stop with these like one-off gimmick things. Um, like I, I, I like the the form gimmick, like with the Alolan forms and the Galar forms and stuff. I think that's a really fun way to like reuse Pokemon, but I really don't like the, the Z moves and the Gigantamax in general. I think like that's always been kind of gimmicky. Okay, so no other codes, just, oh, there's a code for Quick Balls if you have a, your code in the email. Let me see if I got my Amazon pre-order code then get some quick balls that would actually be like not terrible to have so oh shit global game jam 2020 sign up email that's what i need uh your order of pokemon sort out just a shipping confirmation nope no quick balls for me hopefully that'll show up at some point usually i find that the pre-order emails like whenever they have codes and stuff they show up a little late but hey that's fine Get the wild area news. Yeah, hit, hit me. Hit me with the wild area news. <laughs> that's, that's the news. I don't have a Pokeball Plus, so. Swedish X says if they would commit to the gimmicks, I'd be more into it. Yeah, I, I mean, it, if by commit you mean like actually carry them across games, like yeah, I think it'd be a bit better because then it would be less of a gimmick and like more of like a something you're committing to. And I don't think gimmicks are a bad thing inherently. I think gimmicks are, I think like a lot of cool features start as gimmicks. All these Wooloos blocking the way. That's cute. You wouldn't want to wake up the sweet sleeping Wooloo. Ah, uh, yeah, cute. A lot, of, a lot of cool mechanics start as gimmicks, but certainly the way they're implemented now, I feel like they're very gimmicky. Just in and out, add a feature, ditch a feature. Um, Yeah, Mega Evolutions carried a little bit, which was nice, but... We, you know, <laughs> I didn't like Mega Evolutions when they were first introduced, for sure, but then when they carried them over, I was like, okay, you're doing that, at least. Yeah, I'm gonna catch it. Don't worry. Oof. Phew. I almost murdered it. Hang on, my phone is ringing? Uh, let me just go make sure that's not important. Dang. who wanted to meet up with me for like consulting on some YouTube stuff and he was like yeah let's I'll, I'll call you this week and we'll set up an appointment for Friday and I'm like yeah sure I'll be home all Friday and I had no plans for Friday and like late last night uh, late last night I was like fuck it I'll stream Pokemon because he still hasn't called me and here he is calling me on Friday like hey you want to do and I'm like sorry <laughs> you know like Come on, man. You can't do that. You can't just call day of, like... Sorry about that, guys. I put my phone on silent, so I'm... Yeah, no nicknames. I'm harsh like that. That's my, uh, my strict rule of law. Oh, 
Oh wait, I can just press X to use Pokeball. What does Y do? What does Ippo do? Oh wow, that's so smooth. This is such a good UI improvement. Maybe this was in Sword Shield and Ultra whatever, Ultra whatever, and Oras and Let's Go, but I don't remember. But this info button that just handily lets you jump in is so nice. That's wonderful. It was? Great. Good feature. I forgot about it. Still a good feature. <laughs> oh, man. I'm in such a weird place with Pokemon. Like, I like Pokemon so much, but as you can see, I'm clearly not up to date at all. I haven't been, like, hard up to date since, I guess, Diamond Pearl. Oh, yeah, Wulu, let's fucking get it. Team is already half full, yeah, but I can access the box anywhere now. My team can be whatever size I want. Nice. Perfect damage. Do you play on set or do you swap? Uh, I play on s s switch, that's the default, right? Or is it set? I can't remember. I play on the default. The other one's only for really horny people. I can't. That's scary. I gotta play in a way that benefits me in the combat. <laughs> Default to switch? Yeah, okay. Nope. Get in the bag, Wulu. Okay, these are good. Paralyzed heals, those must be new to the series. I don't remember those. No, okay, now that I've run past the Wooloos, can I... Will I get the same interaction with them? Yeah, same interaction. Okay. I would have liked if, like, she does scare them or something. Someone asked me to spin a second ago, so I'll do it again. Look, we got to spin. It's still cool. I like the gunshot at the end. So I guess this is the train station, judging by the train behind it? Yeah. Oh, it's the Pokemart, okay. Wow, mom gave me a lot of pocket money. Like, holy sh shit, that's a lot of pocket money. Let me just get a couple things. You know what, I have a lot. I should buy a few more. Ice heals, gotta have those early game ice heals for all those early game ice beams you run into. I'm not gonna bother with revives, like fuck that, at this price, no way. The train has been delayed due to a rail car inspection. Oh, you can sit. I don't think that's new, but I also don't remember, so. <laughs> I like the Charizard's just hanging. Oh, I wish you could pet the Wulu. To the right is the Pokemon Lab. On the opposite side is the station. That's a, you know what? That's a good sign. I'm, I, I like this, like, this meta sign man who just replaces the sign. This is just his job now. It's like, I remember what the sign used to say. Well, yeah, Frank, we pay you to replace the sign. You better remember what the sign says. Shade the Novice says, I buy three ice heals every game and then never use them. It's great. I know, right? My favorite thing to do with ice heals is not use them. I totally know what you mean. Oh, is this the little zappy pup? Yeah, yeah, that's him. Uh, the Thunder Mutt. What's his name? Sparky Butt. Yamper, that's it. I knew that. I'm up to date on Pokemon. Sonya's design's nice. Honestly, all the main character designs are nice in this one. As far as I've seen.
Entoid says, this dog would go great with some bulgogi. I know, right? Very flavorful. Very fatty dog. Probably a lot of flavor. Yeah, tons. I'm up to date on Pokemon. I like how the Pokedex is like an app. Do you think like Oak's still getting residuals from that? And he's like very wealthy now? I would actually really dig that narratively. If Oak's got like a big mansion and he's like, yeah, the, the, the Pokedex app covers my every expense. Can you play Pokemon Go on the Rotom phone? Oh, that'd be neat. If they somehow got the whole app in there. I mean, it'd be a lot and it wouldn't really work, but that'd be super neat. Yeah, I've never been a... T4 Silly says everyone has a Rotom and it's very weird, but you can't use it in battle. I've never really liked this whole Rotom Dex idea, which is not a new thing, right? That was introduced in, I think, Sun Moon or whatever. I've never really been into that everyone having a Rotom. That's, that's weird. I don't like that. I don't like that. Just give us a machine. Yeah, Ash had one on the show. I do remember pictures of that. Like, I know Rotom can, like, imitate different things, but, like, eh, I don't know how I feel about Rotom decks. No, sorry. I do know how I feel about Rotom decks. I don't like that. <laughs> Give me a human pal. Yeah, eh? that's exactly what I need. No, not a human pal, please. God, this little fat ass squirrel. It's cute. So I hear there's like a better version of XP, of uh, rare candy in this game. Like another item that does a comparable thing, but it's just better. I don't really know the details though about what it is. Of course, as all pro Pokemon players know, you want to take your rare candies and immediately use them on your starter. Just do nothing else. <laughs> okay, there's XP candies, is that it? Yeah? Cool. Thank you. Thank you for these little tutorial skips. I appreciate these. That's actually quite nice. I like how there's now a bar in the Pokemon Center. That's honestly a big step up. Oh, cool, wow. I like the art for the Pokemon Center, that looks great. So, but the PC is also a Rotom. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Like, I know we use them to fight. So, like, clearly I have some very mixed up feelings about Pokemon. But, like, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, cool. You can just do move learning right from Pokemon Centers. That's actually... Okay, what do you got? I need my 10 free quick balls, Gramps. Are there like Rotom farms for all of these electronics then? Maybe. I don't feel great about that. Birth month, seven. Six. Yes, that is, that is correct. Okay, super duper lucky. That's good. 
as a cute interaction. That uh, it reminds me of um, the Suda 51 game of, uh, uh, oh my god. I need to remember the name properly. I think it's Flower, Sun, and, yeah, Flower, Sun, and Rain, that's it. Flower, Sun, and Rain for the PS2 and the DS has a really fun, like, mechanic at the beginning of the game, where um, very early on, oh, I like how it's still a little fairy, very early on it asks you to, um, to open up a briefcase, and in order to open it, you need to put in the main character Mondo's birthday, right? Um, so naturally, you immediately put down the game, and you go to the manual, and you look for his birthday. And when you get to Mondo's page in the manual, uh, there's four empty boxes, and it says in big bold print, you get to decide when Mondo's birthday is. Um, and it's, it's actually wonderful, because in, in a game, when you hit a thing that's like, hey, you gotta input a number, a lot of players just stop. They go, okay, hang on, I need to figure out this number, or they back out and they explore or whatever. But you could have just put in anything and it would have worked. And it's actually such a wonderful little touch. And at PAX East last year, uh, I mentioned it to Suda that I just played it for the first time and like, wow, that was such a smart thing. And he was like, wow, I forgot about that. But yeah, that is a smart thing. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, yeah, it was fun. Suda's really personable, actually. I got to speak to him uh, a little bit at PAX East last time I went, on a few, like, separate occasions. I, like, almost physically ran into him, too, which would have been cool if it wasn't so embarrassing. Okay, so we got a lot of options here. We got denim. Denim's not bad. No dresses right now. We got socks. Okay, right now everything's a little basic. I mean, don't get me wrong. Color choices are good, but I think I'm gonna wait till I find some extra trendy stuff. Different bags, so we can throw out our mom's ratty bag. Oh, I like the different hat types out of the gates, that's good. Yeah, gloves, gotta have them. Don't, never leave the house without your gloves. The, so the one thing I kinda like about the, the different jackets is like you can have them open as opposed to your like knit sweater that's closed so you can actually see the shirts so maybe I should buy it maybe I should buy the coat buy the white one then let's see what we got oh we got a cute shuckle shirt we got uh it looks like a keldeo but I can't fucking tell we got arcanine we got lines that's a that must be a furret or a centret shirt Oh no, there's just a bunch of colored lines. It's just it's lines, it's the line Pokemon. None of these are really singing to me right now. <laughs> the stream as a whole is really quiet. I recommend you turn up your volume because there's nothing I can do about the volume. I don't know what it is about my stream setup. I should ask someone over one day to try to help me out. Um, but my volume just caps out at this height. It just don't get louder. I can make the game a little louder, but I can't make myself louder, and that's the problem. Because if I can't make myself louder, then I can't make anything louder. Yeah, the gym challenge. Uh, neither of these scream skip tutorial, so... Oh, you have to be endorsed, really? Okay. I like that. I want to go work for a bunch of rich men to get their sponsors slapped onto me. Do a cute tech support stream. Oh my god, no. That sounds like hell. <laughs> there are a few things I'd rather not stream than a tech support stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zulti. <laughs> Hmm. Save my data often, you're right. Also, stab. This kid knows about stab. Yeah, I've done some spinning. I can I can spin again if you guys want. Bam. 
I would say just as good the third time, but in such close proximity, I'm getting fed up with it now. No, <laughs> I'm just joshing. That's where the professor lives. Okay, cool. I can make it there. I like how they've got a little Pokemon battle arena out in front of their house, the professor. I mean, like, that makes sense. I think, naturally, anyone who studies animals is also into seeing animals fight, so... Is that Anna Orlando? Yeah, right? Oh, we need to catch Pokemon. Oh, look! You've already caught some. Nice, he detects it. Oh, and he's gonna fill out my Pokeballs again? Cool. Wow, okay, 20. Just go nuts. You remember Let's Go Pikachu Eevee, how many Pokeballs you get? It's wild, actually. Someone said I walked by a shiny rock. Where was the shiny rock? Oh, you're right, it was shiny. Good eye, guys. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for that shiny. Now that I know what I'm looking for, I won't miss a single one. I don't know what you are, but I want one of you, you freaky little lagoos. Poodle, because he chew. I get it. Okay, not that move. He is also actually level seven, so. Okay, I get what I get. That was a worse idea. Okay, one more. You chose the best starter, I see. I chose the only choice. I've mentioned this before, but I, I actually do like all the, the designs for the starters in this one. Like, overall, I think they're, they're like, a pretty strong generation as far as the starters go. I don't know what the finals look like for all of them. Only for Sobble. Have I seen any of the leaks? Yeah, I have. Totally. I am, to be honest, I am not fussed about Pokemon leaks. Well, the only thing I might be like, eh, is like, I don't want to know story stuff. I never want to know story stuff. Even if the story is not good, I'd rather not know, you know? It starts off battles by attacking with its rock hard horn. But as soon as it flinches, it bites down, never lets go. I get it, hence Choodle. I know writers, writers who use subtlety, they're all cowards. Yeah, so that's a full team. So Choodle is now, yeah, I guess alongside Rookie D is about my strongest, so. Okay, we got we got a Fox Boy in here. So let's steal this Pokemon. Are we playing Sword or Shield? We're playing Shield. Okay, let's see if Water Gun won't kill it. And if also I won't die from the attack. I have only three damage right, so. Let's uh let's clutch it out. Let's get a clutch early catch. Let's do it. Boy, I really hope this turns into Renamon. Ah, nice. There we go. Oh, I get it. Nick it, so they're like beef themed or something. Oh, it's dark. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I guess I only made the thief connection after, so. Uh, add to my party. We're gonna dump. We're gonna dump Wooloo for being the weakest. That's, that's how it goes around here. <laughs> okay, looks like we got a little boy coming up. A swift drop kick ought to fix this. Okay, let's just rearrange a little. I'm gonna put Rookie D out first. I don't think this is gonna be a big problem. So 
so I'm not gonna worry too much about my life. Let's do it, little boy. Watch out, this kid might fuck your shit up. I sure hope not. All he has is a chubby squirrel, so we should be okay. Level six, yeah. Sorry, child. Power trip. What do we got here? Uh, boast strength and attacks target. The more the user stats are raised, the greater the move power. The more the user stats are raised. Okay, right now, so I, I don't actually have anything to make that better. Um, so I'll just peck. Yeah. I could leer, but I think I'll be okay. Just lift him up and toss him over the ridge. Yeah, honestly, it's that easy. I should probably leer. Like, I think I'll win anyway, handily, but let's just go for it. Probably should have done that first turn. Here we are. Hopefully one more, but I don't know. Rookie D is going to die. I don't know what moves Meowth has, but they'll be fine. Oh, the move itself also raises stats? Wow, okay, well, never mind. That certainly does make a bit more sense then. Okay, he also knows how to use stab, clearly. Oh, I should use Payday. How often do I get to effectively use Payday in my life? The answer to that is very, very few times. So boy, I shouldn't have fucked that up. <laughs> Yeah, this is pre-order Meowth, that's it. Or no, it's not pre-order Meowth, right? Someone said it was it's just for the first two weeks or something you get a free Meowth. So not technically pre-order. Yeah, shit, man. Never get to use that. Fast order Meowth, yeah, that's correct. Let's right through. Trainer tips. Get XP points. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Sorry. Yeah, XP points. I guess so. It reads a little ugly. thing. Yeah, so I guess ledge jumping is at specific ledges. That's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. This is the payday playthrough. Use only payday on everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, this is that last who everyone drew is like super Scottish, right? If I'm remembering correctly. Which honestly I might not be. Tail whip, let's go. Oh no, it's true, they drew the main character with the Scottish one, and this last was the the not Scottish one. You're actually totally right. Tragic Harmony says, what the fuck is that thing? Kill it. Which, which one? The last or the Choodle? <laughs> the last? No! <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> okay, guess what's coming out? Oh, what Pokeball does he have? He had a fancy one. Payday, let's go. How often does one get to use Payday effectively in their life? I guess as someone who starts with a Meowth, I will get to use it very frequently. Look at that, big money, big money. Oh fuck, you only, only got 35. 
It's like barely worth it, honestly. Like less than 10% increase. That's... I thought it was a bit more than that. Oh well. Can't go in the bush. I like his, like, knit sweater, it's super cute. Yeah, has it always been chump change? That's a shame. Okay, so we got a blip bug. Uh, which, uh, we should also kill as quickly as possible. Okay, uh, jpeg95 says, I think it's always been chump change, but you get more if you use it a lot. Oh yeah? Okay. Maybe I should... Make an effort to do that then. Struggle bug. Fun name. Very effective. Does the Gigantamax form get max payday? The Gigantamax form forces the opponent to take a loan out. It's just bankrupt them completely. Make their mortgage default. Oh, I'll just keep scrubbing. Ah, I should read. Oh, so he does have a better payday, really, when he's Gigantamaxed? Huh. That's cool. Turns the opponent into solid gold, the trainer too, it doesn't wear off. Cool. Just instant death. Oh, my Meowth has a... is that a Paralyzed Heal? Probably snatch that from him. How's the game? Well, we are, like, only just an hour and change into it, but I mean, it's real nice so far. Yeah, I guess Meowth has pickup. He must. I didn't bother to check. But pickup's a really fun ability, so... I remember in high school, I had a friend who, like, when he was training Pokemon, he'd just rock a team of, like, I think it was just Zigzagoons with pickup and he would just grind as many rare candies as he could while he was doing it. Okay, so scratches is, yeah, 4,100. Um, I don't really see a reason to get scratch. Like, yeah, no, I don't really see a reason to get scratch. It seems kind of obsolete for my moves, seeing as I already have slash and payday is just as effective. Like, it's a little less PP, but no reason. Yay, 420. You get it? This is the weed number. Up, uh, come on. Is that my bag? Yeah, the full heal, okay. Do a spin, I'll do a spin. Maybe? There we go. Fourth time's the charm. Oh, look, a red Gyarados. I guess you can fish here if you had a fishing rod. Oh, hang on. Oh, I have a fishing rod! Yeah, perfect. Okay, don't die, Squavit. Yeah, I didn't notice it in my bag at all. Oh yeah, someone on Twitter or someone, something, somewhere was saying I should list off my favorite Pokemon. And you guys can help me figure out if they're still in this game or not. Not that I care too much because I don't mind using new Pokemon. So is, is Steelix in this game? Is Steelix still available? 
Not that he's very good, but I love him. Steelix is still available. Cool. Okay. Doing good. Uh, Rapidash. I know Rapidash is still available, and I'm actually really excited because I like the Galar form a lot. I think that's cool. Uh, uh, Manectric. Is Manectric still in, or is Manectric cancelled? No. Oh, we're gonna add to party. Manectric's in. Wow, I'm doing well. I'm uh, feeling good about this so far. Clearly, I am completely unaffected by any of these changes. Uh, Empoleon. Is Empoleon in? I mean, he's one of the starters. He must be in. Right? That's how that works. <laughs> uh, Meowth's going first. Big fat no. Oh, really? Really? How many of the uh, starters are missing? None of the starters except Charizard. Whoa, really? Only Charizard. Down. I figured the starters would be the least affected by anything. That's neat. That's cool. But that's not bad, because I know a lot of people just get the other starters and then ditch new Pokemon, and it's like, that's boring. I mean, I guess do what you want, but... You remember in Gen... Four, or was it five, where they like almost immediately give you a Kanto starter, and it's like, oh, okay then. Guess we're doing this. Lunar Lives says, apparently Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and the three Sun Moon starters are in the files, and will probably come when Pokemon Home starts. Huh, interesting. That was XY? Yeah, okay. So that's Gen... Four, five, six, Gen 6? Jesus, there's so many of these. Do I know about Dynamaxing? I mean, I know about Dynamaxing, so... Probably enough. Thank you. Perfect. I knew I didn't have to worry for too long about my Pokemon HP. Oh, she's got one of these freaks too. Pokemon come in and out through the chimney. <laughs> yeah, maybe don't light that chimney up then. Do what plants would want and not what you would want. No. My succulent will drink when I want it to. <laughs> oh look, she's got a cute uh, cute Yamper sticker there. How many Pokemon does Hop have at this point, I guess? Three. Oh, wow. Okay. He's, uh, he's building up. We're going to see some level eight Pokemon. Ooh. <laughs> level six. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs>
Okay, so let's just use as much payday as we can, and we'll see just how much cash we can extract from this boy. MZS says, uh, I like that the trainers sometimes talk during battles, like in black-white. I also think that's really cool. Black-white, well, specifically black, was my favorite uh, Pokemon game. Despite many accusations over my tenure at Super Best Friends, no, I do not, in fact, consider myself a Gen 1-er. I played black 2, white 2. I actually never did. I've actually always meant to get around to them, but they came out right at that moment in my life when I was extremely broke, so it just did not happen. But I, I love black, honestly. Big favorite. Okay, so we're really stacking the cash out now. I'm not going to even bother putting my attack up. This will just let us get more paydays out. Since Rapidash came up earlier, is that why you got shield or is that just a coincidence? No, that is actually very specifically why I got shield. Originally I was getting sword and my girlfriend was getting shield. Um, her copy is actually sitting in the other room. Uh, but then when the, the Rapidash was confirmed to be in S.H.I.E.L.D. I was like, no, let's swap. And she was very, very equitable in that conversation. We only yelled for 20 minutes. No, no. Uh, but yeah, no, that, that's actually, yeah, specifically why I got it. I don't really mind which um, legendary one way or another. It's a close match. You know, you know whatever, Hop. If that's how it feels, then sure. I'm happy for you, Hop. I'm happy you feel like this is a close match. I'm happy he feels like he, he's doing well here. Yeah, Surfetched is cool, but Rapidash is actually one of my favorites, so. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna like, swap whatever we need, so. Okay, I don't know how many paydays we got there, wasn't counting, but that should be cash money. Three hundred and seventy. Okay, so we like got fifty percent extra, a little more than fifty percent extra. Okay, it does add up, but <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it, necessarily. I need a hold item that improves that. I like this little endorsement narrative, like, not just anyone can go in. Even though it's like, in, in gameplay terms, it's not much, they just give it to you right away. It's still, it's still fun, narratively. Tentalis Troop says, I miss the rival being a bully. I agree, I also miss that. Um, Gen 2 rival, like, boy. Boy, is he fun. Against one another. Like, I wish I had the options necessary to be the dick rival myself, you know? If they would let me be that character and craft my relationship with Hop. Oh, look, there's two of them, that's handy. Happy for you, Hop. Apparently this game has an asshole bully as well though. Oh, great, cool, good. Said that your dreams will come true if you find one. Yeah, cool. This'll let me get a Latios. Are Latios and Latias in this game? Did they, did they make it? Did the Reggies make it? Did Jirachi make it? 
Yeah, Jirachi's one of my favorites too, actually. I forgot to list him earlier. No old gen legendaries at all. You know what? Cool. Let's do it. That's fine. If you ever have the thought of did X make it auto-completed in your head with no. You know what? I was pleasantly surprised earlier with Manectric making it, so. I I really liked Black White because of the whole there are no old Pokemon before you beat the Elite Four. Like, I absolutely adored that. And, like, playing that in practice was the thing that made me go, yeah, like, I don't need the old Pokemon. You can totally just do a Pokemon game without the old Pokemon. So, this is why I'm really not so annoyed about this, like, not having the full decks thing. Because I don't, I don't know, I just don't need them all. I, I don't feel like I'm getting half a Pokemon experience with half the Pokemon, you know? Feel free to disagree with that. It's fine. I, I get it. I get why people are attached to, you know, the, the, the Pokemon that they've collected over the years, but... Did, um... Did, uh, Trap Inch's evolution line get in? Are they in? That one I'm curious about. Nope, they didn't make it in? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Uh, the, the reason I ask specifically is that is the one and only shiny Pokemon I've ever caught. I have a shiny Trapinch just sitting there in my copy of Pokemon. I think I moved it to Pokemon X. I think it's an X. That is the only one I have. Now, that said, I've never, like, grinded for a shiny. That has never been a thing I've done. So, because I know you can do that in the more recent titles, but... <laughs> I caught that in, I want to say, what? No, I don't remember. I don't remember which game I caught it in, actually, but. Oh, Trap Inch is in? Oh, cool, great. Then I will move that forward. I like that. Okay, we got the Ycom, which tastefully mapped to the Y button. That's cool, this is the Ycom in the X me menu or whatever it was called. That's fun. That just makes sense. Press plus and connect to the internet able to connect with people around the world. Yeah, cool. Is this person also named Liam or are they talking to me? Which is it? Oh no, I don't want is surprise trade just wonder trade? I think so. Oh no, I don't want this. That's me. That is me? Doesn't look like me. Who is this person? <laughs> Can I block this person? You can't add yourself to the block list? Yeah, okay. That doesn't look like me at all. What? what a, that's my online self? Oh, okay, I see. Sorry, I was very confused by this, like... Uh, okay. I like these, like, I wanted to say badges, but they're clearly not all badges. Only the rock gym looks like a badge, but I like all the icons. There we go. That's perfect. I guess it only updates later. Okay. Okay. Now we're ready to go on our Pokemon adventure. Oh, no. Okay. Hang on. We're very close to going on our Pokemon adventure. Left stick to whistle. Is that it? Pokemon and surprise trade it. Yeah, you're right. I should. Um, you know what? I'll wait till I hit Ponyta or whatever. I'm sh I, how how far in or like what's the earliest? Oh shit, a Yamper. I'm gonna get this Yamper. I wasn't there before. 
I'll wait till I get to something that people would actually want from the other version, and then uh, I'll trade that. Is Yamper the Pikachu of this region? I think Pikachu is the Pikachu of this region. <laughs> Jonesman says, huh, that's the second time I've seen a Yamper in that exact spot. Seems scripted. Honestly, it might be. It might be a little scripted event just to pop this cute Pokemon in front of you there. Yeah, it's true. Hangry is the, po the, the Pikachu of this gym. You're actually right about that. So he's going in until I get an Electric, and then he's out. Bye, Choodle. Oh, you're right, sorry, he's not actually called Hangry, it's the form that's Hangry. You are totally right. I'm up to date on Pokemon. I know what I'm talking about. I saw someone also griping about how the reflections in the water aren't, like, one-to-one -one with the terrain above them, you, you see? This is how cube maps work in video games. Like, they don't, like actually reflecting geometry is insanely expensive and you do not see that in many, many games. This is very likely just a cube map being reflected. So it's basically just a picture that the engine is telling the water to render an abstraction of. And it's like, it's suitable for the terrain, you know, but some people don't like how it's not exact, and I don't have anything to say to that except, I'm sorry, that's how video games is. It's, oh no, it's more than good enough, I agree, like, it looks fine. It's only if you, you know, squint at it and you're like, that's not exact, and it's like, well, I'm sorry, you <laughs> know, that's video games. Aren't you in the middle of a race or something? Yeah, but I mean, it's fine. He's not too quick. Uh, yeah, speaking of race, let's just, uh... Do I, do I need... Is this appropriate? Uh, yeah, I'll heal up Yamper, at least. Gotta tighten up the graphics on level 3. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Oh, I remember this. Uh, VSTPNV <laughs> brings up this this humorous situation. Cube Maps accidentally created a ghost building in Spider-Man PS4, and people thought it was dedicated to 9/11. Yeah, I remember where you'd look at you'd look at a reflective building, like any glass building, and you would see like skyscrapers behind you. But then when you looked, they weren't there because, of course, the cube map is like not tailored so specifically to every area in the game. I actually totally do remember that. That's lovely. Oh shit, you're right, I should do a safety save. Because what if I die? Yeah, I agree with you, Apocalyptic Express. I think you are dead on with that assessment.
Uh, JPEG95 asks, uh, does your mom's hair always match with the color you chose for your own hair? I think so, but I'm not totally sure. Yeah, I saw that too on Twitter. People saying that it would take like 10 minutes for like a Pokemon model. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'd be surprised if they get a single Pokemon model done in like days. <laughs> You had a you had a let's go experience with the oh cute wait are you gonna give me a Pikachu does this girl just does this girl just distribute Pikachus to people so I guess she'll give you Eevees as well she just has a bag full of contraband Pikachus and Eevees yep. Oh, this guy's got the EVs. Great, perfect. <laughs> this works. Uh, no, that's okay. In the box. All these free Pokemon. Meowth, Eevee, Pikachu, super early. Oh yeah, I love you, Swine Up. You're so cute. These Pikachu and Eevee don't evolve, but you should try Dynamaxing them. Yeah, they turn into the chubby and the fluffy ones. I did see those, so... Uh, you know, I really don't need to buy Pokeballs. I really feel like I'm fairly well stocked on them. Yeah, but they were already done. You mean the models? Yeah, no, certainly. I agree with the notion that the models were already done for earlier games. Like, that, that is known for sure. I'm just saying it's ridiculous to say you could do these in 10 minutes. Like, that is beyond absurd. That's the only thing I'm talking about when I say that. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm good, actually. Oh, yes, yeah, so there's camping. So we're getting to our first... Uh, uh, wild area now, right? So. Are they the only ones that turn into chonky Dynamax forms? I actually don't know that. I, I don't know if that's the case. Like, if you catch or trade another one, will it have the necessary attribute? I don't know. Mm. Apocalyptic Express says, yeah, uh, just the one from your Let's Go saves. Okay. I don't know about that. I don't know if I like that, but okay. It's fine. Maybe Gran will admit, wow, harsh. <laughs> this is very harsh on Sonya. dare you play something other than Death Stranding, lol, how you doing, Liam? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Real talk, we'll be back on Death Stranding this weekend, so... Okay, so now we can access the box wherever. Yeah, this is a nice tune. This is the first song so far that's really like sticking out to me a little. That's nice. Comrade Wolf says, I'm a little confused as to why everyone keeps giving me Legos for my birthday. I don't know what to make of it. 
Is that a real thing? Is that a real thing that you're struggling with? How, how, how old are you? If that's not too, too private a question to ask. So we got camera control. Oh, an Onyx! Good! I want you, Onyx. Uh, camera speed. Regular inverted. Ah, it's not very fast. 25 and it was a dad joke. Okay. I don't know what to make of it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I didn't get it the first time, you goober. <laughs> You're funny. A very strong looking onyx. Uh, oh. Man, can I catch this? Wait, what was it? Sorry, what was that? It won't let its guard down. Aww. Oh no. Destroyed. <laughs> you can only catch Pokemon up to level 20 before your first badge. Oh, really? So. So it's like badge dependent now? That is odd. Don't know if I love that. I assume Pokemon still don't listen to you if you have inappropriate badges. I guess they're trying to... I guess that's... Is a Pokemon going to fall out if I shake it too much? Is that like a gamble system? I got a hell of a lot of berries out of that, that's for sure. Um, so I, I guess that must be a fix for, like, because you can now encounter strong Pokemon early in the game, they don't want people lucking out and just getting really powerful Pokemon early on and stomping everything. That, that must be what that's fixing. Oh yeah, I see multiple people in the chat saying the same thing. Yeah, that's what that would be. Okay, uh, this didn't work out well. I should have probably checked who my next Pokemon was. <laughs> Apparently the game is still really easy anyway. Yeah, well. Unfortunately, that's kind of been Pokemon's thing for a while. You know? Well, forever. But, like, especially, I feel like, since XY, they got, like, really, really easy. But I don't know. Yeah, I guess previously the thing restricting that was, like, getting a high-level Pokemon, they wouldn't always listen to you, which is, like, decent. But this is definitely more of a... more of a... Um, it's a stricter way to prevent that from happening at all. Just, like, you cannot even catch them at all. I guess in the previous game, it, it, would, it was usually unlikely that you'd have a Pokemon that was, like, beyond your level threshold. Whereas in this game, it is downright likely that you will encounter wild Pokemon outside your threshold. So I guess that's... I guess that's it. Nope. Right in the box. <laughs> I'd I would grind you into candy if I could. Um, I would be camp as well. Let me just move these guys around a little, because... Swap. We're gonna swap you with Ricky D. Let me get a Wingull. And why have strong Pokemon here at all? They don't actively block your path and you can't realistically fight them. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're there. I guess there's a few things, right? They make for a, like, semi-interesting dynamic on your first run through where it's like, oh shit, he's powerful, I gotta run away. I don't know how interesting that is, like, sustained over the whole game. Maybe it's not. Probably isn't. And then I guess they add things for you to come back to? Like, now I know there's an Onyx here. And I know I want to come back for this Onyx later. So... Eh, adds a little. I don't dislike it, seeing as in previous games it was like... 
every Pokemon is always the right level and you never have to worry about it. So. Okay, I want to get a Wing Golf. The Pelipper's cool. Yeah, and there's the whole raid system, which I know very little about, so... The wild area is one singular large zone you're intended to constantly return to it. Wait, sorry, so is there only one wild area? Is that, is that how it is? Apocalyptic Express, but I'm not going to read that out loud because that's trending spoilers. <laughs> but that's funny. Raids are cooler than triple battles at least? Oh, hell yeah. Everything's cooler than triple battles. You know what? I'm just going to fucking... Let's just do it. There are two main sections, one low level and one higher level. Okay. But but there is, yeah, just one big one. Yeah, Apocalyptic Express has one big wild area, just the weather biomes and such. Really? Okay. I was under the impression that, like, when they introduced wild areas, well, I thought it was introducing wild areas, plural, but I guess not. Nope. We're gonna send to a box. Right in the box. And I thought I saw... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get in the bag, too. Yeah, I'll check the time map in a sec. Yeah, my Pokemon's still dead, so that was a bad choice. I know how to play Pokemon. I know when I make bad choices. Like when I use Poison on Steel, I know that's a bad thing. Because I know all the Poison type matchups. Liam lies to the Twitch chat. <laughs> Get away with pounds? Maybe not. Maybe I should just toss. Jonathan64 says, I'm assuming, I'm assuming the very strong Pokemon are scaled to be much stronger than your team's average. Yeah. Any word on whether they're they're scaled or they're sort of like fixed thresholds of levels that can be at? I would I would imagine that they're not scaled, that's like fixed thresholds, but I'd be curious to actually know. 60, 100. Yeah, why would I not get rid of Water Gun? They are set? Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you for the info there. I vaguely remember Pulse having lower accuracy, but I guess not. That's okay. I don't remember most things. Yeah, pulse this early. That's like getting crunch at the beginning of the game. Okay, yeah, let me... Uh, town map. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, I see. So it's... It's not small, the wild area. You're, you're right. Like... There's this big bottom area and then this little path that goes up to a larger area that I imagine we don't have access to yet. You're right, it's not small. It is a big area. There's a whole lot of world outside of it, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I guess I'll have to play the game more to find out for sure. Maybe there is no need for multiple wild areas. What are the numbers on the path for? I assume they're routes? Yeah, route numbers. Yeah. Route one, two. How many routes do we got in this game? How high does that number go? We got a sizable ten routes. That's actually not very many. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, they're way more elaborate than they ever were in previous games. But like, in the earlier games anyway. But you found a note. Use the right stick to rotate the camera when you're in the wild area. Press the wild stick. Oh, we got a zoom? Oh, L recenters the camera, I 
Yeah, okay. Oh, cool. I like the zoom out. Yeah, I mean, you know what? It's not reinventing the wheel, but uh, Pokemon in a 3D environment like this, yeah, it totally works. I do, I do still like how it uses fixed camera angles for the, oops, for the, uh, the towns and such, but... Or I don't know if I like it so much as I don't dislike it. Oh, Panchan. Oh no, that's a Panchan. Wait, this is a Pan... Pan... Panchan? Yeah, it is Panchan. Okay. What's the other one again? Pancham, Pan, Pan Daddy. This is gonna go well. Can't let any Pokemon die. Then we're in trouble. Yeah, it doesn't count. Oh, Pangoro, is that what it's called? Yeah. Cool name, TBH. So I hear Karate Chop's out. I hear there's no more Karate Chop in this game. That's a shame. I like that move. Is Seismic Toss in? Oh shit. big on fury attack so let's not most of those multi-hit moves i don't really feel great about oh really attack order isn't in that's actually <laughs> that's actually a move that i specifically remember because i always remember thinking how cool vespa queen was okay let's see if i can get like 10 did anyone actually use hidden power yeah, people use Hidden Power. Um, if I'm not mistaken, for some Pokemon, Hidden Power was, like, pretty ideal. Although I don't know the details. I remember hearing that, like... Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's how this works. Like, I think Magnazone, like, optimal Magnazone would use Hidden Power Fire, right? Something like that. You can just shore up weaknesses and, and gaps in their abilities by, like, using specific hidden power types. Yeah, that that is a really intricate move, hidden power, and it is a shame that that one's gone. This leaves the target with paralysis. Wow. So it's just guaranteed paralysis? That's actually super nice. Yeah, much better Thunder Wave. Yamper evolved, right? Like, of course he does. Okay. Just check him. I'm kind of down for that. Even though, I mean, I guess I'll have to see how, what he evolves into. Because, again, I like my neck trick a lot, so. Yeah, so they steal some of the, the berries. Okay. I guess I was pretty lucky to get nine so early. So these red things are, are dens, right? I think I've heard people talk about these. Yeah. Dynamax Pokemon dwell in these dens. Okay. Oh, you also just gain shit doing it. Okay. Let me rearrange my Pokemon real quick since I've been like swapping every battle, which has been a total hassle. Actually, I have XP share. I'll just put Sobble first. Don't matter. Oh, only the ones with Pillars of Light actually have raids. I see. Good to know. 
I don't know what Mold Breaker does. I don't know how I find out what Mold Breaker does. It's not up there in his ability slot. Yeah, my Meowth does have pickup. Oh, did he pick something else up? Cool. The last time Water Pulse just absolutely murdered him, so this time I'll go a little slower. Yeah, I'm gonna put some berries on when I get to town. I mean, I guess I could just do it now, but... Mold Breaker just prevents abilities from working. Oh, cool, okay. That's really strong, actually. Also, yikes, did you see that? We got some critical hit thrusts. Let's get Yamper out. Right? Let's give him a little zap, a little zap tap. Then he's cooked. Pancham that could kill my Sobble deserves a spot in my PC. Actually, I should probably put him on my team. No. But I'm gonna put him in my party so I can get a fighting Pokemon in there. Uh, so let's sub out uh, Magikarp. Because it... I don't feel like I need Gyarados. I know, I know, like, when do you not need Gyarados, but I don't feel like I need Gyarados. I feel overly reliant on Gyarados in Pokemon games. <laughs> oh, Pelipper. Cool. Okay, someone was saying that raids are at the, like, actually at these ones, so. Oh, uh, maybe I should go heal up my Pokemon first. Honestly, they're not in great shape. Considering. <laughs> okay, so let me head over to the town first. Oh wait, hang on. I can just go restore over there, right? Let me grab this Krabby. And then let me double back to the nice lady who will restore me. Gotta say, the wild area is fucking crammed with Pokemon. Gets all party Pokemon to attack the target. So I guess that's for raids, really. Oh yeah, set up camp, right? Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. They did tell me this. Good call, thank you. Oh no, beat up is an old move and not very good. That is a shame. Let's try it. This fight's going great. Man, yeah, I should put something up on my window. You see what I was talking about with like the lighting's really not good at this time of day? Oh, literally he attacks once per Pokemon you have. Okay, I'm gonna need to reduce this Krabby. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> that should make a big difference. Oh my god, look at that. Look at look at my lighting. My lighting is restored. It's 
so no Yamper. It's crazy how much of a difference that makes. Like being just being back with versus not. What happened to Poke Tekken? Uh, the game came out. Uh, it was received quite well. Um, it's regarded as, a, as quite a good game overall, I think. Uh, they released it on the Switch. Um, still good. Uh, still worth checking out. There's a demo on the Switch, too. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So if you have a Switch, I highly encourage you to check out the demo. It's a neat game. I don't love it, but... Solid fighting game. It's at Evo, isn't it? I don't think it's still at Evo, but... Unpopular opinion. I still wish it was just fighting Pokemon, but that's an unpopular opinion, and I get it. There's so many, like, fun fighting Pokemon who would make for a fun fighting game cast. Like, Gallade, Makuhita, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan. Like, there's so much good. Get Blaziken in there. Blaziken fighting? Is Blaziken fire fighting? Hang on, let me fucking call myself out here. Yeah, Blaziken's fire fighting. Get Blaziken in there. You know, like, I think there's so many fun fighting types that would make for an interesting roster. And, like, yeah, they did cool stuff with some of them, but I, I don't know. When I, I remember the first, like, CG promo for it, thinking that that was what the game was. Uh, so. Yeah, I don't disagree with the idea that there's a, a nice variety of Pokemon in there. Um, less legendaries would be cool. Like, Suicune's neat and all, but, like, I, I want more weird Pokemon to have, to have the, uh, the time of day. Like, Chandelure is a cool pick, you know? Having only fighting types feels like a game only having Shadows. See, I, I don't- I don't personally feel that way. Cause I feel like a poke- like, again, a Gallade and Makuhita, like, I feel like they would fight in two very distinct ways, you know? Uh, even just, like, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, to go back to them, like, I feel like they would also fight in two very different ways, you know? I feel like there's a lot of variety to be had among the fighting types. But again, I, I totally agree with the idea that uh, overall there's just more variety by doing what they did. Yes! Okay, let me get this... Uh... No, he's probably high level, isn't he? This Ninjask. I should heal. Level 15. Uh, that's not. Shedinja is also a favorite of mine, so I'm glad that Shedinja is going to be here. How am I enjoying it so far? It's nice. Feels like good game. Just as good as the last Pokemons, anyway. For which I didn't play much, but hey. Pokemon Camp. Oh yeah, is Toxicroak fighting? I love Toxicroak. Yeah, amazing. The, this Dream Tech End roster just keeps getting better. Mm, use your Joy-Cons, waggle your Joy-Cons. Great. Get over here, Chubster. I like how when he runs, his, um, his, like, fur collar kind of extrudes outwards. It's really cute. Oh, I thought for a sec I was actually holding a Pokeball, and I was like, how's this gonna work? This is a dreary Pokemon camp. Yeah, pro tip about camping, don't do it in the rain. Oh my god, get the ball, please. Please, buddy. Yeah, Empoleon was added uh, 
to the arcade and the Switch version of uh, Pokemon. That is accurate. Which is, which, like, yeah. Not a fighting type, but I like him pulling up. <laughs> okay, great. Camping was fun. Eh. <laughs> eh. Not gonna be using that mechanic. Lots of ones said camping healed you, but I think I have to go a step further than that. I think I have to not just hang out. I think I need to actually properly. And you? Yeah, cooking. Oh, that's why they give you so many berries. Okay. Some Oron berries. Let's chuck some of them in there. And uh, let's get some Pecha berries. Let's throw in some cherry berries. Keep the Persim and the Kelpsy berries for weird times. I can't tell if you want to do this rhythmically or just quickly. to throw it early. Shit. Okay, well. I'm sure that minigame is going to be fun the 10th time. That was something I never really liked in the Pokemon games, like making, like, poffins and shit. HP was restored by half, they gained XP points, and they got friendly. Okay. Yeah, I'm also not sure if going full speed was optimal either. Okay, so it's not 100% life either. They did get revived at least, which is nice. Oh, does Yamper also have that ability? Um, he must. Ball fetch. If it's not holding an item, it will fetch the Pokeball from the first failed throw of battle. Oh, whoa, that's a really cute ability, actually. I don't know how practical that is, but... Can you use that, like... On the Master Ball? <laughs> Can you toss a Master Ball and fail with it and have him ball fetch the Master Ball? That's really, really cute. I don't, again, I don't know how actually practical it is, but... <laughs> yeah, if you were to somehow mess up a Master Ball throw, which I know never fails, would it still work? Like, probably. That'd be great. <laughs> If you Dynamax Pokemon, you get a chance of catching it. Okay. When they Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. Okay. Um, fighting. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Probably not well, but we'll see how this goes. Edible Enthusiasm says, yeah, if you throw if you throw a Master Ball at a trainer's Pokemon, it would fail. Yeah, I wonder how they work now. Because it used to be, I, I always loved in the old games where the trainer would, like, slap down your Pokeball. 
It's charming. <sighs> what do you call a nervous javelin thrower? Shakespeare. Oh boy, you're funny. Boy, it just keeps getting funnier. You gotta go online to invite. Wait, am I not online? Oh, it's searching local. That was not evident to me, I'm sorry. Let's back out. Um, how do we go online? Versus? No, didn't seem right. Online is in, yeah, maybe it's in the YCOM menu. to the internet. To be honest, I'm surprised that's not on by default for the wild areas. I kind of thought that was the case. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is gonna go well. As we enter with our team of four Sobbles. <laughs> yeah, you can see people. That's like the wild area's whole deal. Is it's like big multiplayer zone, which I think is actually really rad. That's why I was under the impression there were multiple, right? Even though this one's a little sizable, like, that's a lot of zone more. Okay, this is going well. Can you build bridges across Galar Wild Area, Liam, and give likes? God, I wish. That'd be so sick. Based Persawan says, all I've been hearing about this game is that it's hot garbage, so I'm excited to see some actual gameplay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna say it's not hot garbage, like without a doubt. <laughs> The, this this in no way approaches garbage or even bad you know it's a good game is it as good as the best pokemon games maybe not let's just uh let's just drop out of that oh my web picking up my girlfriend's chair. I don't know why. Why do you do that? Maybe because the blanket's on top of it? Yeah, maybe that was it, actually. Okay, so we got 100 watts, right? Big pearls, nice. Big money. It is mediocre at best. It's definitely a low-tier Pokemon game, though. See, I don't disagree with the idea that it's a l necessarily a low-tier Pokemon game. You know, granted, I don't know enough to make a really good call on that. But, I don't know. The idea that it's mediocre at best, I don't really agree with that. Like, this seems like a perfectly good game, honestly. I think for most people, they're not going to have any, like, significant issues with it. Yeah, no, I saw the snow runs. That's okay. I want to get to the next town. Yeah, and the Vanillux in the water. Yeah. No, I'm not actually going to do the fight. I just want my 300 watts. Wild area is overflowing with a special sort of energy measured in watts. You can gather watts. You'll also find trainers in the area when you use all sorts of items. Yeah, okay. That's a tasteful enough way to do those little tutorials, just like you found a note on the ground. I wonder if it's, like, measured in how many steps you've taken, or if it's, like, just more artificial, like as soon as you pass this trigger, it happens. Oh, you know what? I want one of you. But it's alright. The notes are quick, you don't have to have someone talk to you, it's effectively the same thing. It's a bit better than people telling you everything, which is like normally how everything is handled in Pokemon, so. 
Yeah, boy, does this game have discourse. I agree, Lunar Lord. If there's one thing this game has, it's internet discourse. Does it run fine? The last 3DS games had real bad frame rate issues with just double battles. Um, I've, I've seen some, like, little hiccups here and there, but generally speaking, it, it runs fine, yeah. I'm curious to see in the raid battles where there's, you know, you are actually four players online with four Pokemon on screen at once, plus a Gigantamax other Pokemon or whatever, so... Elemental X1000 says battles are fine. Wild area online is laggy, so I, I take that to mean it drops some frames. How are you liking the new Pokemon? Uh, I'm liking it better than the last Pokemon. That's for sure. And I, I enjoyed Let's Go Pikachu. I did find that game fun, but it's nice to get back to like a regular Pokemon game. I bounced off Sun Moon pretty hard though, I gotta say. Or I'll just Sun. Maybe I would have liked Moon. Doubt. <laughs> Stuffle's so cute. You're going in trash. Oh, he's the camping king. Oh, I can tell just looking at him. That checks out. Rate my curry decks. This mysterious disc called curry. How mysterious. That feels like a hell of a fanfare for one curry. Wow, that is generous. I really wish there was a man who would give me a pack of sausages for making a curry. That's very nice of him. You know, I got 20 Pokeballs earlier, but I feel much better about getting a free pack of sausages. Oh, cool, okay. Great, this is neat. This is, this is fair. Throw one of your Pokemon into a track of Wild Dynamax Pokemon. Cool, okay, that's cool. This economy seems totally fine. I like that. Oh my god, the generosity. Oh my god, there's so, there's so much food to be had just from talking to people. It's so good. Gimme, give gimme. Give I love this. Okay, you guys actually want me to fight in a raid? Let's go fight in a raid then. Well, I'm gonna go to the pink one. I don't know what the difference is, but I'm gonna go to the pink one. Right, L3 is not run. L3 is, in fact, stop. Pink one is better? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so someone asked before about performance. These are the worst frame rate drops easily. But outside of the wild area, it's been totally fine. And heck, even when the wild area was not um, like set to online, it was fine. So, okay, so I mean, this is just a big one of these foxes, so not super fancy, but. Yeah, the people popping in and out of existence as other players, which I gotta say is not, is not very elegant. It would be nicer if you actually got to see them run around. Like, even if there were less of them, I think they're doing that because they're trying to, like, load in people who are near where you are physically. Um, but yeah, it's not, not super elegant.
Okay, someone in the chat said you could just use AI, so let's just do it with AI. Let's just try this. Certainly get the idea that there are some little day one issues with connecting players. I like the altered UI for this fight. It makes me think of Yokai Watch. Okay, let's get in there. Did you just kill that Pokemon? Let's do our best to not die in one shot. <laughs> Jeez, I'm glad I'm not getting hit by these things. I might actually just die. Like, he's getting a lot of damage out. I don't know if I'm keeping up. Could have done a max on the first turn. Oh, really? You had to do it turn one, otherwise you gotta wait three turns. Okay, I guess I'll figure out how those rules work. Actually, we should be fine if they can revive like that, too. Oh, yeah, it said something about if four Pokemon faint, that's a loss as well. Well, it looks like we're good. I guess I'll catch a second Nicket just to see the animation. I love the big Pokeball. I love how slow that is. It takes like four times longer than catching a normal Pokemon, but it's really charming. So, oh, and you get a bunch of rewards along with it. Look, you got a Crunch TM. That's nice. Getting a Crunch TM? Uh, that's really nice, actually. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna wonder trade this Nicket. Uh... Oh, it is one-time use. Wait, aren't TMs? Oh, it's a TR. Oh, that's a new thing. Okay, I'll hang on to that then, I guess, for a little bit. Seems a little... Yeah, yeah I don't really know if I want to use it on Yamper. I'll hang on to it. Okay, that's a thing then, I guess. Um, okay, let's uh, wonder trade. Surprise trade. Yeah, the raid did seem to have good rewards. So, um, I guess, quick question. Should I hang Assurance Snow Quick Attack? Is there, is there any reason that this Nicket is better than my other Nicket other than the level? Like, are there attributes from, like, a Dynamaxed one that make it better? Or should I just trade the one in my team that is a lower level? What's the, what's the, what's the right play here? Other than nature, like, sorry, I guess I'm, I'm wondering if there are, like, specific traits to ones that you caught when they're Dynamaxed, or if those are not things. Because otherwise I'll just trade my team one, because I don't... I don't care too much. Ultimately, I will forget that this one was not that one. Dynamax level is better, so it has more Dynamax HP. 
P. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I see there's a Dynamax level. Okay. All right, sure. Well, I'll just trade this one then. Let's go for it. You can't select Pokemon in your party. Okay, well, uh, how do I swap quickly? Can't select Pokemon in your party. Uh, well, let's uh, tag that out first. Uh, Pokemon. Nick it. Swap Pokemon, go to box. Yeah, there we go. Uh, move. Surprise trade, let's go. Select, you're going, Nick it. Goodbye. Someone said I had to do one, so we're doing it. Let's see what trash we come out with. Okay, this could take a second. We were having trouble connecting to other people for the Dynamax stuff, so... Oh, there we go. Trip completed. Enjoy your worm pull. I know, right? I like this very classic trade music of the Yamper. Yeah, that's that's about right. <laughs> Let's put the Yamper out now. <laughs> Oh, those save times are nice, considering how long it used to take Pokemon games to save. Oh, I hope the trade continues. Ooh, I didn't think I was going to switch area so early on the stairs. Oh, this is that town from the... Uh first, like, proper teaser for this game. Yeah, I like brass instruments. Trade complete. Let's see which legendary we got. This guy's gonna be like this fucking guy giving me the end. <laughs> That's what I deserve. It's totally what I deserve. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop now. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect to like shrink that UI down. When everybody's grifting, nobody wins. I know, right? You're dead on. Oh, I wanted to check the Pokedex as well. It's true. I wanted to see if it adds Pokemon you've walked near. Current recommendations. That's cute. Like, I'm kind of looking for... Butterfree and a couple others who I saw that I walked past. No, I really think it's only ones you've engaged with. Walking by them doesn't make a... have an impact at all. Also, I can't see the legendary for this game. He was only listed as question mark, so... I guess the app don't know. How could the app know? There was a guy in um, anime club in college. I know that should be high school, but the embarrassing truth is it's college. Um, there was a guy in anime club in college who like loved Minchino so much, but like to a weird amount. He kept talking about how like 
Minchino is so kawaii and stuff, and I would, I, even then, I could not deal with this guy talking like this. Seriously. Like, I could not fucking deal with it, and thinking back on it, I can deal with it even less today. <laughs> and he would just not shut up about Minchino. Even, like, I don't, he wasn't, he was a little socially awkward, so... I probably shouldn't punch down the way I am, but boy, it's not fun talking to this guy. Pokemon lead cards. Yeah, those are fun. Cute. I like this, like, signed one there. Yeah, lead cards. Looks like we have a full menu now. Cute! So we have Leon's. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Select and throw away. Oh, you can't. Okay, so this is the replacement for, um... Well, I mean, I guess they were always trainer. What, what were they exactly? I don't remember when you would check what a, the listing in the menu that just said your name and you could see your badges and stuff. I vaguely remember that being a card once upon a time. Badge case, trainer case, yeah, yeah, that, that thing. Yeah. It was a trainer card at some point. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, I see. Anyone have a card code? Or wait, can I share my card code so you guys can just have it? There you go. That's what we got. Zeros and then 0075GY2MJ. Wait, what does change cards do? Did I just change the number by mistake? Oh no, okay, I see. Oh fuck, it did just change. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's different now. <laughs> Eight zeros. Apologies to all the people who just paused the YouTube video and then I just fucking changed it. So I see it has to get refreshed. Okay, so eight zeros, L7, DL, N8. There you go. That's it. It is like default AF though, so there's like nothing cool in there. So I guess every time you update it, it gets assigned a new number. Is that how that works? That doesn't seem great. Like, I would think you would just want to have it always use the same number. Oh, here, some people posted theirs, so I'll, I'll type a few in and we can see. We see how fancy they are. In all of the hours they've gotten to play. Uh, oops. Four. Four. And seven. P. 65. Shit. Ah, 65. I have to scroll down to get it. Nice! Oh, it's cute. It's actually really cute. I like the face. Oh, there's so much data. Whoa, look at all these Spoilermon. That one's an apple. You can't just put an apple on your team and call it a Pokemon. I know what an apple looks like. Wow, it says shiny Pokemon found too. Don't know about that. I'm gonna be a zero forever. Seven. V. P. Nine. J. Six. K. I'm, like, my shiny found count is gonna be zero. Because I'm not gonna grind out shinies. Cool, I like the gears in the back. There's so many backgrounds, what the hell? You got that cool Keldeo shirt? Yeah, you got a regular team. No apples. Shoutouts to no apples. I appreciate that. Oh, and it says the version on the top corner. I totally missed that previously. Okay, one last one in the chat. Apologies, I can't do this all day. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I won't.
Oh, cool. I like this background. This is, um, uh, fuck, what's that game called? Pokemon, Pokemon Quest or Pokemon whatever. What a fun game that was, right? <laughs> but it's cute. I like your pose and the face. The faces are great. So now those are in my album, right? So now I can select and throw away all three of these. No, I'm not gonna throw them away. You got in. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. That's so horrible. <laughs> Yeah, you're stuck in my save data now. You can never get it back. Now it's my trainer card. Does this guy sell different? Yeah, he does, okay. Netball, nest ball, and then all these items that are actually really useful, but I never use. Heal balls are not, I don't really have many good uses for heal balls. Uh, I don't think I need either of those Pokemon, right? Like I've got a Squavit. I'm sure this Squavit comes with something fancy. Oh wait, is there still a lottery in this game? Cause then maybe I sh should do it just to get her trainer ID number. Like, is that still a thing? There is? Shit, then I should do it. Oh, the lottery's at the PC. Okay, cool. Gambling for everyone. Oh, it's Cheekers! Oh, I love you, Cheekers. So cute. Check Poke Jobs. Hi Proxo, I'm having a good time. Oh, this is like send your Pokemon out to do to do jobs. I see. Looking for normal. So we're gonna send out Cheekers. We're gonna send out Squavit, and we're gonna, uh, no, we're not gonna deselect. Sorry, Squavit, we're gonna send Eevee, and we're gonna send out Wooloo. They're gonna have a good time. Go work, boys. Whole day, <laughs> which is longer, whole day or very long? <laughs> like, <laughs> these are not the same measures, just a little, very short, short, long, very long, but then where where does half day go? Is half day more than very long? Because I don't consider a very long amount of work to be less than half a day, right? <laughs> it must it must be that very long is like two hours or something. This doesn't make any sense to me. They're gonna go whole day. They're gonna go for a 24 hour shift. Oh. Nice, enjoy that. The Rotom inside Rotomai, or rather fond of the cart. Is that the plural of Rotom? Is that what he's saying there? Uh, I want to use the card maker also. Oh, cool, there we go. So I'm assuming you can buy more of these too or something. I kind of feel like I need to see the pose first, but hey. Uh, how do I? Oh, R is the change modes, I see. No, 
we need pose first. Oh, they unlock with story progression? Cool. Yeah, I mean, right now it doesn't feel like there's much choice, right? This is by far the cutest one. <laughs> Can't rotate up down. Oh, that's so cool. You can change the coding. I like that. And then matte is nothing because it's matte. Did I actually use the Pokemon Center? <laughs> Important things that I should check. Yeah, okay. Don't drop your Pokemon in the water. People keep doing it around these parts. So many Pokemon deaths. Ah, oh, damn it. But the gym's that way. Gym challenge. The gears are greased with the blood of Pokemon. Yeah. They introduce you to Pokemon work with like, we're gonna make fabric with normal types, but eventually it turns into like, someone's gotta spin the gears at Moto Stoke City. If we don't have 7,000 Pokemon spinning the gears round the clock, our whole infrastructure will crumble. It's not gonna be fun but we need as many Sobbles as you can get. Are you prepared to have them bleed for our country? And then like the, the job length is just forever. It's like lifetime and you can't select anything else. I like his Pokeball practice target he's got, that's cute. Places. That's great. Hi, Hoot Hoot. Battle here once a day. Sure, let's see how this goes. I don't know what levels he's around. Okay, not not ideal. can't see like any of Combi's attributes. Hopefully I can land confusion with waterfalls. It'd be nice if the trainers didn't disappear when a Pokemon was doing an attack, but I, I imagine that's probably something to do with like the proximity on certain attack effects is too close, and like they don't want to show the trainer like getting touched by huge like swaths of fire and stuff like that. I wonder if there isn't a nicer way to do that, to back them up a little further or something. Is Seismic Toss still in this game? Because Seismic Toss always has like a baller animation. Yeah, whoop. <laughs> she's, she's put it in my hand. <laughs> Thanks, sir. <laughs> yes, it is gross. Yes, that is, that is correct. Yeah. 
You know what I really liked? I really liked Animal Crossing City Folk, where uh, when you went to the hair salon, they gave you a little a survey. You know, how are you feeling? What do you want, right? But they didn't let you just pick your hairstyle. So it, it was kind of like a little mood test thingy, right? Um, and you just got what felt like almost a random hairstyle. And I thought that was really enjoyable, but it was fixed. So like, if you knew that a certain thing gave you something, you could always answer the same questions. I always thought that was really enjoyable. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, let me go to one that has fringe styles just so I can see them. No fringe. Blunt fringe. Blunt fringe is good. I'm not too in love with most of these, honestly. They all feel pretty plain right now. For the sake of having something different right now, I'll just go with the pixie cut. No, I'll just go with the medium curls. No, I'll go for the romantic tuck, which I didn't know that was what that was called. Let's go ham. Let's go completely off the rails. Cute. Oh, that's good that they let you reprint it on the spot. That's good. Oh yeah, the eyebrows retain the color. Yeah, I need to find somewhere to, to get my eyebrows fixed. Oh, I like that polywag one. That's cute. Tracksuit. That's solid. I like the little brands as well. Mm, I wish there was some other color varsity jackets. For now, I think I'll stick with what I had. This bag's all right, but it is like the vast majority of my money. <laughs> I think I'm good for now. Wait until I get to see some new stuff. I was really hoping some of the stuff in the window would be on sale here. In the window, there was this nice coat that I liked. Right here, this front one, you see? The little puffy one that's on the very right of the screen. It's cute, I like that. Jonesman says, I hope guys don't get cheated on hair and clothing styles. I hear there are a lot. People have mentioned earlier in the chat that there are still a lot for guys, so we shall see. Actually, we, we shan't see because I'm going to be playing as a girl, so enjoy. Oh, I got AirPods. Oh, cool. That's great, actually. Okay. Alright, whatever, man. I wonder what the button is for that.
Yeah, steam power is pretty great. Oh, they are actually in the options menu? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's gonna go to Sobble. I wish he gave you something like a lot less useful, like Soft Sand. <laughs> You know. Uh, battle? No. There, no. Other items? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there they are. Cool. Wow, that is far too quick. You gotta slow that down, you are gonna break someone's neck. That is, I'm telling you, this is a fact. You are gonna hurt someone with a lift that fast. That is no good. <laughs> That's like that, uh, that roller coaster in The Simpsons that shatters people's teeth. That's exactly what that is. I forget what it's called. It might be the toothbreaker. I don't recall. Yeah, I thought it was going to be slow, too. But hey. Welcome to the world of Pokemon, where everything's fun until you break your neck. That doesn't seem like steam power. It's a, it's a lot of steam. It's just a very large amount of steam. Oh, excuse me. Oh yeah, here's our actual, like, rivalry character. Wait, and there's also the other girl too, right? I guess there are a few in this game. Oh, she's just over there. Whatever her name was, ma, 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 I can't remember. Marnie, thank you. Yeah, Marnie's a cute. <laughs> you can do anything? <laughs> really? Like, can you just. Oh, wow, okay. I don't feel like there's gonna be much variety. I feel like people are gonna lean into a few numbers. Don't know why, just a hunch. <sighs> Jesus. Then there's this asshole. I love these little um, gym statues that are like, I guess they're big fancy HD remakes of the gym statues from the originals. They're super cool. Gobsmacked, nice. Like that word. I thought this guy was gonna rough me up or something, like, <laughs> I thought I was in trouble. Sausage- oh. Sorry, I've just been conditioned to expect sausages from people. Even though he's called the ball guy.
Oh yeah, secret hideouts. Bring back secret hideouts for real. Okay, wow, this is a little bigger than I than I thought. Let me just go back to the end. Ooh, okay. So I would want to give that to Meowth, but Meowth picks shit up, so I'll give it to... <laughs> Meowth is really the right pick here. Did Rookie D... Ugh. 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 I should just give it to Meowth. It sucks. <laughs> Oh, whoa, this keeps going in this direction, too? Okay, well, let me just go to the end. It seems like a sizable city. Is this, um... Where's the map? The map is there. On the map, is this the biggest city? It's fucking... It's huge. This place could be bigger? What is this place? Hammerlock, maybe? Also, potentially, Winden. Winden looks relatively large. Hard to say, really. <laughs> They all kind of are a little abstracted. Okay, well, let's just... Oh, cool. Nice statue. Yeah, the gang's all here. Hit me with it. A sword and a shield. That's that's the name of the game. <laughs> they said the thing. Will you be all right? And in the enhanced version of this, he's gonna have a sword and a shield and a gun in his mouth. <laughs> you gonna play the new Star Wars, Liam? Uh, I really want to. To be honest, I really wanted to stream it, but between Pokemon and Death Stranding, I just will not have the time to stream it now. Maybe in the future, but... I don't think I'm gonna play it until Death Stranding. Until I'm done with Death Stranding, to be honest. Because I just, with school, I don't even have the time to play it, let alone stream it, so. But it looks awesome. I really, really wanna play it. I like Team Yell's MO. I think it's great. Stream all three games at once? Oh my god. The nightmare. Yeah, Galarian Zigzagoon. So good. Okay, that went well. Fight all four of them? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. <laughs> oh, her Marty towel is so good. Like, they have such a strong gimmick. I really love them. It's so simple, but like, it just works so well in the context of this game. I'm really curious as to why, like, why is it? But they're cheering for Marnie. Like, what's the deal? I'm keen to find out. Okay, are we halfway there?
Just in case it's been rough. I really don't think we needed that heal, but okay. Could make this go real bad. I could kill Hop's Pokemon first and then work on the opponents to give them a fair fight. I wish you got experience for that. Okay, hopefully I attack before Rookie D. Oh shit. Oh good. I just want to lean into Hop being like, wow, this is tough, man. We're barely making it. Hop Perfect Express says, truly the jerk rival was you. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Completely silent, stunned at what happened. The smile is just a facade. I like how in front of Marnie, they're all like a little nervous about it. Like, I'm sure the moment she turns her back, they're all super into it. But like, when she's actually confronting, they're all like shy and embarrassed. That's so charming. enjoy how she can just tell him what to do. Oh, I love her heels. They're so nice. She has such cool boots. Her whole character design is super fun. Give me your trainer card, Marnie. rush right over. Oh, hi Marnie. Thank you for the fast travel. Much obliged. I 
fucking forgot. Oh yeah, okay, right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's perfect. It's in my size and everything. I love it. It's great how they like have the character walk into frame and then rotate to see their back. Like that's charming. It's a good way to like reveal the number to the player. Oh, is everybody here? Yeah, I agree, Kadizis. Kadizis? I don't know how to pronounce your name. It, it, I would be down for voice acting for the cutscenes. I, I totally agree with that. Oh, the leaders all look so fun. This fucking guy. I like the fighting girl more than Alistair, but hey, that's what I get for picking shield. Oh, Melanie looks good. We're missing one. Oh, neat. Okay. Oh, Melanie is also shield exclusive? Huh, okay. I do like how they're like withholding one of them. That's fun. Keep secrets, it's good. Keep secrets from your players. My wonderful, not evil company. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, everywhere. Oh, God. How awful. I don't have allergies. I just sneeze a lot. I remember getting tested for allergies once, and yeah, I just don't, I don't have them. I just sneeze a lot. I don't know what's up with that. You know, I actually thought this was the first gym. <laughs> I thought we were already there. Well, oh, shit, it's already 140. Oh. There's no fun way for me to say this, but I don't know if I have time to get to the first gym today. Access to the flying taxis. What, what Pokemon is this? Is it Latios and Latias? Corviknights, cool. Wow, so just like really just raw fast travel, don't worry about having fly while, while you're in a town. That's cool, that's different. Not averse to that. Oh, I like this, all these people cheering us here. That's so charming.
Uh, Jonesman says this is probably actually a final gym. Oh, it might be. Um, oh, wait, this is a gym. This is a gym. Two. Uh, three. Four. Five. Six. I see six that are clearly just gyms. This I can't really tell. There's that tower at the end. There could be a gym here, but there isn't like one of these round buildings there. Is there one back at the beginning? If there was like one down here and I missed that, I'd be like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the map is really pretty. I, I like it. I like the map a lot, actually. Oh yeah, I want to see the, the Corviknight fly. Oh, I can just do it to here. Okay, perfect. Go there. Oh, that's not really as nice as I, I was kind of hoping for some sort of animation, but... And I assume if I go back, it's gonna... I'm just gonna have a load. Okay, well, there's a little loading. Okay, that's better than that. All right. Is what it is. It's effective. I should see how Mom's doing. Glad Mom's doing great. Feels good. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna have to save and wrap up because I am running short on time for today. Apologies, I really thought we were gonna get to the first gym because I really thought that was the first gym, but clearly I didn't plan super well for this. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry we're ending so early on this one, but it's just, it's just the reality of my life, so. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I do really appreciate it. Um, I like the game. I'm probably going to be playing it all night with my girlfriend once I'm done work. Um, mostly homework, to be honest. I have to. Uh, I have a an art assignment that I'm I'm really enjoying actually, where we have to we're supposed to split into groups of three or four and model uh, an in, some sort of environment, not like anything at this level of detail or anything, but model and UV and texture and assemble an environment in Unity. Um, and actually, uh, I was, art, the art is the one thing I really want to get a lot more practice in, so I decided to do it solo instead of in a group. So it's a lot, and I kind of took on a lot of responsibility, but it's fun and it's going well, and I have, I'm getting a better handle on 3ds Max, which is nice. I'm using uh, Substance Painter, and it's, it's, Substance is really fun. I know how to use Substance Designer a little, so, yeah. Is your teacher, s that is my teacher. How do you know my teacher? That's crazy, small world. <laughs> Never mind, don't answer, too late, too late. Yeah, that is my teacher, how do you know my teacher? That's cool. <laughs> Your course has both art and dev? Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. So I have, in first semester, I have scripting one, uh, our introduction to game art, um, uh, game introduction to video games, which is really just baseline knowledge, so not much for me there, and game design. And game design's kind of 101 as well, so. Oh, he was your teacher too. Oh, no kidding. Really small world, that's cool. He's, uh, he's a great teacher. Honestly, he knows his shit so well. I'm really impressed. So, that's cool. That's cool, man. Very small world. <laughs> uh, let me, let me crack open Streamlabs. What audio aspects does the course cover? Actually, audio is something the course really doesn't cover in particular. The teachers are always emphasizing, like, you know, keep an eye on this. Like, we don't have specific classes for this, so we're going to try to help you, like, in the appropriate classes when it is appropriate. But yeah, no, there isn't uh, there isn't any audio coverage really, so which is something that I'm like of two minds about because like it'd be great to learn some more audio tech stuff, but unfortunately that's just not within the scope of it. Bearing in mind, it is not like a a, a forty hour a week course load. You know, it's not. It, it is full time, but it's only around twenty, a bit shy of twenty hours. So yeah. Oh, cool, Retro DLC. I will bear that in mind. Thank you for the for the offer to share information. Appreciate it. Um, shoutouts today to 
Eerie Ooze, Galley Freeman, Hopeless Dreamer, and Neko Draga for their subscriptions. Uh, Shoutouts also to Zolti for their donation. They say, uh, a cute and good game demo called Other. Her loving embrace came out. It is RPG slash DMC slash platformer slash puzzles like Lufia. That's a specific genre, puzzles like Lufia. Even if you don't check it out, just read the name of it. Kickstarter ended a couple weeks ago. I will actually open this in a new tab right now, and I will leave that there, and I'm going to get back to that later today when I'm editing shit, and I don't want to edit shit. Uh, thank you for the link, and thank you for the donation, Zulti. Um, uh, Kyle Nickel uh, says, Hey, Liam, th- uh, and his donation says, Hey, Liam, thanks for the years of entertainment. I hope game design school is going well for you. Best regards, Kyle Nickel, dialogue audio editor for Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2, and like a hundred other games. Oh, wow, cool. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's you, Retro DLC. Yeah, okay, cool. Wow, that's a lot. You have a lot of work experience under your belt. That's wild, dude. You're very welcome for the years of experience. Thank you for your service. Wait, isn't that what you say to to military people? I don't know. I don't, know, I don't meet many military people, but yeah, thank you for your service. Dragon Quest Heroes 2 is rad. So, <laughs> yeah. Wow, 10 years of experience. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That that puts that into perspective. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I got to run for today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in so much. Um, I will see you next time with Death Stranding, I suppose. We'll be back. Uh, have a good evening. Have a good Pokemon day. Enjoy Pokemon. I'll see you guys around. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.